Earlier this year, a person posted on Reddit about a lost Flash game that existed before the death of Flash. In this post, we get to see the only evidence of this game ever existed, which are screenshots of the game. And so it begins. The story of Project Bitterlight. On December 31st, 2020, Adobe officially killed Flash Player. With the death of Flash, many games or animations made using Flash became unplayable or unwatchable. Some Flash medias were archived and can be played today without Flash Player, but some are not so lucky. Some, maybe due to the lack of popularity, did not get the fortunate fate of being archived and became lost media. On April 25th of this year, a Reddit user named Vartlight posted about a lost Flash game he played back then. Back in 2015, there was a Flash game that I played called Lisa's Prom Night. I didn't play much of it back then as it was a really simple game as many Flash games were back then. It was also very short. When opening up the game, we are greeted with the familiar aesthetic of an old but yet not so old looking Flash game title screen. Upon clicking on the play button, we are introduced to the main gameplay loop of the game. We are shown three objects and we need to choose only one of them to bring. We do this for 10 rounds until the game ends. It's very simple and short, like your typical Flash game. What's interesting though is in the last screenshot, it said something about this project that the creator of the game was making called Bitterlight. And upon searching that up, I found a video about a project named Bitterlight. Please tell me that I'm not alone in this, that maybe there's a way for us to try to recover this lost game. Either that or to find any recordings of this game other than the screenshots that we only have for now. When opening up the video that Vartlight was referring to, we are agreed with this. If you are watching this video, you are not supposed to be here. I made a couple of songs. They are very personal to me and I don't plan on anyone finding out about it yet. I still think of it sometimes. This video seems to be made by the same person who made the Lost Flash game, as the channel's name is Alina, which matches the game creator's name, which is also Alina. As for now, this is where the story ends, but this is also where the investigation begins. This seems to not just be a lost media case, but also something bigger set by the creator, Alina. 